big up for the rave up. Oh, wow, luminosity. Well, I don't, I'm really worried about this already. What have we got here then? I'm bad at these when I can see. Hello, Mark. Oh, hi, Alex. It's um, dark, isn't it? Paint the best rainbow scene. You may not open the lab door until the task is complete. You have 10 minutes, your time starts now. We're on this. Yes, please. Oh, uh, I can't see the colours. <laughs> Very nice to have the, the task really spelled out. <laughs> <laughs> Let's um, see them. OK, uh, how about Bob, Sally and Ashling? Yeah, lovely. OK. It's not every day that you wake up and somebody's been murdered on top of you, is it? <laughs> it can be wherever you want, but the rainbow scene would be Two nice. beautiful gay women. Yes, if you, if you could. I'm going to do something very xenophobic against Irish people. Which is put a little pot of gold where all the leprechauns do be hanging out. My very first job was as a painter and decorator. I saw the woman whose house, the first house we painted, and she said it had never need painting since because it fucking burnt down. <laughs> That's my mate. Why are you using my mate? It's very thick in this one. Shit, it's thick. <laughs> I'm happy with that. And now for a cup of tea for this man. Mmm. I mean, it's my favourite quote of the show so far. Shit, it's thick. <laughs> Well, one of them was Marmite, as we heard. Uh, did Sally say that it was Marmite? Yeah, she, she did. This is Marmite. Well, Sally noticed it was Marmite and said she was going to paint two lesbians uh, using a test your strength machine. I know. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> what I want to do is to drill down into that a little bit. <laughs> rainbow, I guess rainbow. I'm thinking lesbians. it's like gay pride, two beautiful lesbian women. Yeah. The strength What's the test? Well, strength that's machine? like a thing everyone knows lesbians love using. You test your strength machine, they can't walk past on the door. We can see all three if you want. Let, let's have a look at them, yeah? yeah. Okay, here they are. <laughs> well, we, I mean, the, the awful news is one of the lesbians is dead. <laughs> um, <I can't. laughs> there are so two, weird. but one is painted in white. Oh. <laughs> oh. I think there's a bigger issue for us to discuss, and that's the fact that the leprechaun appears to be smeared in its own shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's, oh. that's explain what Bob did, the bottom bit of your rainbow. It's a little man. You said oh. he's called Matthew and he's being chased by a policeman, but you can't see the police. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely day for it. <laughs> 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 Let's talk about the quality of the rainbow. You've got a system for remembering the colours of the rainbow. Yes, well, the bottom two, violet and indigo, don't really count because they're both purple. So for me, it's Richard of York gave battle purple, purple. OK. <laughs> <laughs> so no one, no one got it right. No one got it right, but it would be difficult in the dark. OK, well, do you want to have a look at Nish? Nish uh, <laughs> decided to use another sense. I suppose the point of this task is to work out what colour is which. And how are you going to do that? Can I smell them? What does that smell like? Red. Oh! They smell like the colours. That smells like chocolate. Right, I've got to find strawberry first, cos red is at the top. Everything smells of lemon! You've got ten seconds left. Oh, shit and piss. <laughs> Nish, stop painting. Nish, we can see you. Nish, put the pot down. Put the pot down, Nish. So they were all infused with correct sense, reflecting the colours. Um, it was really nice to see, you know, someone using their brain. You know, these might be different <laughs> things. I'm going to smell them. I think you might like the picture. Let's have a look. OK, here we go. Woo! Oh, <laughs> lovely art. Is it a scene? <laughs> no. Yeah, it's a scene, mate! I like the fact <laughs> you smelt them. I yes. don't think it's a scene. Oh, come on, mate. Uh, here I come again with a link to some adverts. Bye. <laughs> Hello. <laughs>
Welcome back to the third instalment of tonight's episode. Alex, please fill our lovely audience in on the current task situation and make sure it's the funniest thing that you've ever said. <laughs> <laughs> our contestants were painting in the dark. Just Mark Watson left to go. <laughs> Nish noticed that we'd assigned sense to the corresponding paint colour. Will Mark, the man who most closely resembles the character in his boiler suit, be any good at painting rainbows in the dark? Absolute horseshit. <laughs> yeah, so when I draw on there, I'm not going to be able to see anything at all. That's Why? the fun of the task. Why not? Uh, it's too dark. Ah. Red, I'm just thinking red because that's where we start our rainbow. The tricky thing is not losing my, um... Bearings, isn't it? Well, I don't think there's a way that I'm missing of supplying myself with light. I mean, there is a... I look for the light switch there. I don't think it probably is, but it would be silly of me not to at least try. I didn't say I can't turn the light on. <laughs> hmm, that does help. Uh, is that against the rules? Well, it's a lot easier like this. It's much easier, actually, yes. This is why normally we have lights. Uh, I've made it easier for myself, certainly, but everyone will do that. But everyone will put the light on, so it's all about the quality of the rain there. An absolutely legitimate move, right? The light switch was there for all five. It was lit by the square. If you oh, watch right. back, it is always there. And they just said you can't leave the room. <sighs> <laughs> the question is, was your picture any good? I think there's one element of the rainbow which you'd be surprised that he got wrong. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that is worse than what we did in the dark. <laughs> It's quite flat, quite a flat rainbow. <laughs> Jesus Christ, rainbows have only got one physical characteristic. <laughs> I mean, maybe we should focus on the two witnesses. Do they seem unimpressed? No, they're saying wow. <laughs> <laughs> right, we can see all five now. Yeah, let's have a look. Decide. Let's have a look. Now, I would argue that Bob's is... A horrible scene. <laughs> <laughs> a dystopian nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and as a consequence, I, I think I'm going to pop him in last place. <laughs> okay, oh. fair enough. Okay, <laughs> one point. Um, and uh, one up from him. He did some good smelling, but that's not a scene, it's rubbish. <laughs> uh, the most intelligent person in the room, arguably, was the person who worked out how to turn the light on. Then he let himself down horribly <laughs> but by not understanding the basics. Uh, so I'm going to put Mark in third place. It's the leprechaun or the lesbian? I think that... <laughs> I suspect, and feel free to write in lesbians, <laughs> I, I suspect that they don't feel the need <laughs> to prove their strength using an old-fashioned test your strength machine. But I can't prove <laughs> that leprechauns don't smear shit up. <laughs> so Ashling in first place. So Ashling is in first place. I never win anything. <laughs> <laughs> For more Taskmaster, subscribe now. <laughs>